two matches, one by Victor Axels and then uh, Mass Conrad and Mass Colling. Now it's up to Lee Dong Kyung to keep Korea in this tie. He must defeat Hans Christian Solberg, beating Hoos to uh, keep this tie going. Contrary to the group stage, the knockout stage here only plays until the overall tie is decided. Should it be decided at 3 0 or 3 1? The last match is a void. Here's the um, two players. Could also be the head-to-head uh, -head between these two players, between who is uh, leading 2-0. Last match dating uh, back to March 2017 in the India Open, where beating who's won in straight games. In fact, Lee Dong Kyung has never taken a game of uh, beating who's. We're waiting to get them onto the podium here in the uh, beautiful. Uh, Impact Arena. Here is uh, Lee Dong Kyung. And Hans Christian Wittinghus. Wittinghus, of course, um, part of um, the victory yesterday with uh, uh, against uh, Malaysia, but um, wasn't able to contribute a point. He was leading in the second game 16 6 10 points cushion but uh, went totally off the boil and uh, lost that second game as well as the match 21 18 so for him it must be uh, nice to get a chance to redeem himself so quickly after such a tough loss he said afterwards to Danish television that um, yeah, um, he uh, only had his, himself to blame. He uh, simply made too many unforced errors. And um, Lee C. Gia just had to keep the shuttle inside the court. His confirmations of the head-to-head. Uh, -head. This is black. Red, your four. Our umpire, Lawrence Bester. Red at east uh, side of the seat. Beating who chooses to uh, serve and um, Lee Dong Kyung elects to stay on the far side of the court. <laughs> Trying a high service. Beating who's So here's uh, Lee Dong Kyung, as we can see, currently ranked uh, 42, but has been as high as um, 16. He was um, competing at the uh, Rio Olympic Games in 2016. Lost uh, both matches in his um, group to Victor Axelsen and then Ponsana Bonsak. He has only been selected for one match against um, Canada, and uh, he is a bit of a replacement player because uh, originally John Hark Jin, whom Bitting who's beat in his uh, victory in Australian Open final, was uh, selected for the team, but um, he was replaced by Lee Dong Kyung because John Hark Jin was injured. Bitting who's 32 years of age. Recently became a father in uh, February. He and uh, wife Selena became parents to uh, a son, Vincent. And uh, these are the two matches that uh, Wittinghus has played in this tournament. Wasn't selected against Algeria but beat uh, Sergei Sirant and then, as I said, lost to uh, Lee Sijia. Players. 
ready to play. Could have expected perhaps Anders Antonsen to uh, get the nod from the uh, coaches. But, um, they've um, decided to uh, go with Wittinghus and could be due to the uh, physicality of um, Li Dongkyun. Speed. Anders Antonsen on one occasion. You can see he wears a um, strapping on his um, right leg. He uh, withdrew. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Denmark. from Asia Ladies Championships. And on my left, Korea, represented by Lee Dong Kien. Denmark to serve. Love all. Once best the umpire get the uh, match started and Bitting who's immediately uh, continues where he left Five. off yesterday with indecision Five. and uh, a strange uh, shot. Oh, that's called Seven. good. And I don't think uh, Lee Dong Kyung wants to challenge so early in the game, but um, I think it might have been worth it. Good save, good save by the Korean. Placed um, John Hagjin after the uh, team composition had to be handed to the uh, BWF before the finals here in uh, Bangkok. Cut off date was 6th of May, but um, if the referee approves, then you're allowed to uh, substitute after that uh, date. Gone wide. Three, two. Told to be ready to receive. And that um, if he does it again, John Tai will consider him as ready. So the point would then be going to Wising Hoos. Fantastic rally, and it's gone wide. Excellent retrievals by uh, Lee Dong Kyung. Thirty-seven shots. Thank you. Um, injury at the Asian Championships and tournament before the All England beat Jano Jorgensen in the uh, first round 
Jorgensen who plays the uh, third single today. Have to get him on court. Lee oh! Jung definitely needs to win his uh, match here against oh. Wittinghus. medal from the World Junior Championships in uh, Pune in 2008. And part of the mixed team World Champions in uh, 2017. Surprise win oh! in Gold Coast, oh! Australia. This oh! result in 2017 is a uh, semi-final spot in uh, Singapore Open. Lost to uh, Cypranit that time. Oh. went on to win the tournament. Five, six. Visiting oh. who's on, uh, on his side. Reached the semi final of the uh, Malaysian Masters where he uh, had a couple of good victories against uh, Ginting and uh, Wei before losing to Nishimoto. His last two tournaments lost in the first round to uh, Shat Mabindya and to Lindan, and it was around a time where he was becoming a father for the first time, so maybe his mind was a little bit elsewhere. Looks much more uh, confident today if you uh, erase that first rally. It wasn't a rally, it was just a miss hit. And if I should interpret it a little bit on um, the uh, head to heads and uh, the four to nothing in uh, games in favor of Wittinghus, I would say that um, the physicality of Lee Dong Kun doesn't mean that much, doesn't hurt that much to uh, Wittinghus because in very good physical shape himself and uh, I guess you could say that Lee Dong Kyung with his, with his uh, patient playing style doesn't pose a big threat to uh, beating Hoos. Great shot there down the line. Nine. So uh, he can select his spots a little bit more freely, doesn't have to uh, attack at any chance. But uh, some speculation. Let's see if uh, Lee Dong Kyung can. Oh, he's playing that. See if Lee Dong Kyung can um, keep Korea in this match. Well played. Slow wide and Wittinghus. 
takes the lead. 11-6 coming into this first mid-game interval. So far, looking uh, very positive for Denmark. That one's gone long as well. He's got a tear in that uh, calf muscle during the Asian Championships, and that um, meant that the Korean team originally deselected him. Then suddenly being called to service is um, perhaps not a uh, profitable situation. would explain um, the nerves that um, someone who came out with in uh, the first men's single if he knew that uh, probably Dong Hyung wasn't totally fit for fight so much more pressure on someone who then if Korea should uh, be able to beat Denmark it was a must win the first men's singles then there's a good rally from uh, the Korean. 16-6, that's a score line that um, beating Hoos will remember. That was when it all started falling apart yesterday. And it, it was actually so um, unbelievable to watch. chance to uh, launch an attack otherwise he just plays on patiently and that leaves time for uh, Bittinghus to uh, get in with his um, steep attacking shots from uh, the baseline I think he has a feeling on court right now that uh, his opponent really can't hurt him if that's correct, then that's a fantastic feeling to have as uh, a badminton player. Thank you. 
is uh, challenging. Good to see from where he was sitting. It was indeed in. Good spot by uh, the linesman. That's a great defensive Bitting shot from uh, Bittinghus. Still on that uh, back line. who takes the lead in this match, winning the uh, first game by this lucky shot. Here it comes, tumbles over the net. First game to the Dane. As we get confirmation here, 21-8 in 16 minutes of time. Just um, leaving the court. court um, one, court one, and the body language. Stuff that um, they know that uh, they don't kill. It's not um, as match fit as they would like him to be. Second game. Just wants to hit with them. Um, Racket. So, great graphic uh, on the interval that uh, 90, 82% of beating his smashes in the first game was directed at the backhand side of uh, Lee Dong Kyung. 
it's very consistent with the uh, first point here in the second game the interesting thing is also unfortunately the graphics didn't show that where are the smashes hit from One, two. I actually think Park Tae Sung beat Kenneth Jonas and the Danish head coach in a Thomas Cup tie in uh, 1998 in uh, Kuala Lumpur. No, it wasn't Kuala Lumpur, it was in. Uh, it was in 2000 in Kuala Lumpur. The North lost 3 2 to Korea. The latest meeting between Korea and Denmark was in the uh, semi final in Wuhan in 2012, and Korea won on that occasion 3 1. They never won the cup. Yet, Korea. Reached the final in uh, Wuhan, but lost three nothing to uh, China. The first time they reached the final was in 2008 in uh, Indonesia. China went on to win the title. Special occasion in 2008 when uh, Korea lost to England. More or less. Uh, on purpose, they fielded all their singles players in doubles and the doubles players in singles. That would give them a better draw for the knockout stage. So since then, the draw is not made prior to um, the conclusion of the group stage. Save, fantastic save by uh, Lee Dong Kyun. back into this match it's found the line better play by uh, Lee Dong Kyung here in the early stages of the second game. Taking more initiative.
It's gone long. Well Kick left it. by um, beating Hoos. Lost the court to be mopped. Perspiration in the uh, forehand corner area. Not the most ideal mops we have here. Tend to sometimes just distribute the uh, sweat. But the thing was uh, staying very close to the net there. Oh, he's got something in his eye, but maybe he's wearing contact lenses. Nice if they did a little bit um, twisted to one of the sides. There from uh, Vizzy Hoos. Good defense. <laughs> That's fantastic defense. I'm not sure everything was on purpose. Here is someone who applauding his uh, teammate. Hi, short lift. Feeling that there's still a number of errors in uh, beating who's seems to be playing um, on the edge. Yeah, well taken. Oh, that's brilliant. I think he uh, had second thoughts whether to leave this one. that he's been working on the uh, front court game throws themselves again there Thank you. 
So still not decided who will be the uh, opponent for the winning team on this court one. Match between Japan and France is still going on on the adjacent court. Japan winning two matches to one. Very short lift. And that gives um, Lee Dong Kyung a two point lead coming into this uh, mid game interval. Here in the second game, it's a must win game for the Korean to keep his team alive in this tie. Well placed smash there by uh, Bitting Hoos. for Denmark in uh, Kunshan in 2012. Denmark defeated Indonesia. It's a feeling that uh, most players would do anything to get back to in the decisive game for the team for the World Championship. That's great play here by uh, Lee Dong Kyun. Perspective. I don't like the um, look on uh, Hans Christian Wittinghus's body language right now. To me, it signals um, confusion. And he's uh, standing at the back line talking to uh, coach Ken Jonasson. Danes are keeping an eye on the other matches as well. I think they need to support beating who's here. Another mistake. I think he feels very uncertain on. Um, where the back line is on the uh, Korean side of the court. And thus feels he needs to attack a bit more. I think it's a uh, winning way. You've got to find that uh, back line. Otherwise you're playing pretty much uh, the whole court against half court on the Korean side. Well played. I have a feeling that those um, lifts are quite a bit too short. What a 
fantastic comeback by um, Lee Dong Kyung. Play. Lost the first game 21 8. Shot, excellent shot by Lee Dong Kyung. Cross court 11. smash gives him a six point lead. would have someone to uh, pass on information to first hand Kenneth Jonas and then then him on to uh, Wittinghus that um, he has not put that many shots out on the uh, back line of uh, Lee Dong Kyun. On the contrary, he's uh, often playing too short. That one's too wide. Just grinding his way into this match. That's well played by Beating Hoos. what the uh, smash statistic says for this uh, second game on the placements. Excellent play by Lee Dong Kyun. He's so uh, fast on that uh, front court at the moment. Remember, he's never taken a game off uh, Wittinghus before. Service fault called on uh, Lee Dong Kyun. Hit the uh, shuttle above uh, 115 centimeters of uh, height. Yeah. He's winning the front court at the moment, um, the Korean. Doing a great job. And uh, now he has. Uh, five game points to level the score in this uh, second men's singles quarterfinal tie between Denmark and Korea okay. there it is second game, by Korea. Second game to uh, Lee Dong Kyung slowly worked his way into uh, the second game Twenty-one sixteen, <coughs> after losing the first eight twenty-one, thirty-eight minutes of play. Okay. 
So he's done the first part of um, his job, uh, Lee Dong Kyung. He's leveled the score here, but uh, he's got to win this uh, third game as well. Beating who's is still not sure how to uh, solve this match here. We heard that in the uh, coaching interval. Coach Jonas and said, I know it's difficult, but we have to look for the solutions. He's still coming forward to the front court. That's a very good plan by the Korean. So who needs to play away from the front court once in a while, especially when he's quite a bit below the tape. That's it. game that he was very successful with the smashes to the backhand side of Lee Dong Kyung and that is definitely also true in uh, that rally 34 shots from um, Hawkeye that um, Bittinghus was hitting more than 50% to the uh, forehand side in the second game. So it really indicates a change in strategy or indicates that it's some sideways drift that um, it's worry about. Once again, the um, Smash to the backhand side is profitable.
controlling the front court, uh, Lee Dong Quinn putting a good amount of pressure on uh, Bittinghus. That is the key to uh, this match. Wait to evil. It's also found the line. signs to me that um, Wittinghus is, uh, is coming back in this third game here. He, he looks puzzled and bewildered like uh, we saw him a little bit yesterday and he's pretty much continuing to do the same thing. Good defense there. Good little deception, and I think it's in the deceptions that the, the solutions lies for uh, the Dane. Deceptions and flat lifts to uh, the back line. A good mix of that. I think could um, set up some good opportunities and definitely draw Lee Dong Kyun away from. Um, the front court. And look at the reaction from Wittinghus on that missed serve. I mean, it's every point is uh, way too important for him, in my opinion. then just one of the break unsuccessful one challenge remaining service over seven six I realize it can be confusing to have so many challenges left that one was not a good one That's Eight. a big miss. Six. Two pushes to the forehand side and then one to the left shoulder. One for delaying the game. This time. 
is right on the uh, back line, beating Hoos. It's gone long. Stays on the Korean side. Twenty-seven shots. Was that rally? Thank you. Shot, good lift. It's gone long as well. Bitsing who's with a four point lead. The last interval here in the uh, third game. So, who is going to take this deciding game? Bitting who's can secure the overall tie for the Danes. Lee Dong Kyung must win to keep his team in the match. Oh, that looked short, that service. Total tape, it's gone wide. Service over. Eight. Eleven. This was the side where Witting Hoos hit almost 50% of his shots to the forehand side of Van Lee Dong-Kyung. Maybe the backhand side or the body would be a better choice. As for the Danish team, it would be important to, uh, of course, firstly win the tie, but also to win the tie quickly, so get back something to eat and rest. Koreans, it's important to still have a chance to win the tie. Yeah, a lot of nerves. This is an important rally. Oh, what's a fantastic save! Hans Christian Witzinghus. Lee Dong Kyun had almost done the job, but Witzinghus. Uh, just managed to save the last shot. Thank Almost you. but just protecting his head. Oh, Lee Dong Kyung has asked for um, a doctor, I think. Some uh, spray on uh, his calf muscle. 
And I was attending the uh, technical officials meeting and they were told by the referee that they should allow one spring and that was all. I wonder if the players have been uh, told that only one spraying is allowed. Right. Um, five minutes short of an hour, and of course, if Philly Dunkyun hasn't been able to practice um, up until this tournament due to his uh, injury, then uh, he might feel the. Uh, physical uh, pressure seems like Wittinghus has regained his confidence seems like Wittinghus has uh, lost his confidence again every player makes those kind of mistakes sometimes it's how fast you can let go of them Decisive for the next rallies. That's a good read by uh, Lee Dong Kyun, and even with a broken string. It's gone wide. Oh, he returns to the beating hoose. Body smash. It's got to lift the shot like that, Bittinghus, because it's impossible to play it with enough quality. There was the smash to the backhand side. Challenge from uh, Lee. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Looks into me. Come on the line. And, uh, four point cushion for Bittinghus and no challenges left for Lee Dong Kyung. the line again I think beating who's takes way too big a chance there
Good shot. Smash that's crossing the body of uh, Lee Dong Kyung. Just outside his uh, right hip. A lot of nerves uh, in this match now. for the Dane. Totally unreturnable for Lee Dong Kyun. That's 18-14. I still think the Korean is in it with a good chance because Bitting is celebrating like he's won the match. So um, it's a sign to me that he's definitely not sure that he's going to uh, be able to get this match over the finish line. Length on the lift. Perfect drop shot from uh, Lee Dong Kyun. pictures it's a mistake from uh, Lee Dong Kyun and each mistake brings Vizing who's Closer to the goal line. And at some point, you get this feeling that hey, I'm actually going to win this one. Some good lifts from the Dane there. It's gone long. Nothing that's easy in this uh, second men's singles here. It's gone long. And it sets up four game points, four match points for Hans Christian Wittinghus. He's held it together, he's been struggling. And now he has four match points to send Denmark into the semi-final tomorrow. A little deception. First one, Lee Dong Kyun. Match points left to seal the deal. To once again score the winning point for Denmark in a Thomas Cup tie. And there it is. He's okay. done it. He struggled. But look at the. Uh, satisfied Danish supporters here the rest of the team 
Hans Christian Bittinghus in a grueling match. More suspense than actual uh, well played. 21-8, 15-21, 21-17 in an hour and five minutes. Here's the uh, winning rally. Denmark through to the semi-finals of Thomas Cup 2018. be for uh, Wittinghus to win this uh, decisive match after yesterday's uh, meltdown. Here's the uh, result. The rest of uh, the matches are void. Denmark has uh, defeated Korea. Victories first to Victor Axelsen, got off to a good start, then struggled and uh, eventually survived the match point to uh, beat Son Wan Ho and uh, give Denmark the best of starts. Mass Conrad, Mass Peter Carling played a brilliant game, they won in two straight games against Chung and Kim. And then finally Hans Christian Wittinghus, it looked so easy in the first game, it looked so difficult in the second. And it was a thriller in the third, but finally he got the job done. And Denmark is through to the semi-finals tomorrow. It's also clear that um, their opponent will be Japan. Japan has just beaten France three matches to one. So the only uh, tie that's still going on is Indonesia and uh, Malaysia. Indonesia 2-1 up. Here's uh, the results of today. China relatively easily booked their spots in the uh, quarter in the semi-final of the uh, Uber Cup. China, the second seats, but uh, defending champions. Then the uh, host nation Thailand also booked their spot in the Uber Cup semi-finals, and Denmark eventually through to the semi-finals, defending champions Denmark. From all of us here in uh, Bangkok. Thank you for uh, watching, following us here. We'll be back tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock local time. That's uh, 5 o'clock GMT. Have a good day.